Okay, so for set D, uh, we have the empty set. We have four ways to have one at a time. A alone, B alone, C alone, D alone. And then we have six ways where we can have two out of the four. A and B, A and C, A and D. That runs us out of all of the A ands. And we have B and C, B and D. That runs us out of the B and something else. So then C and D. And then to find our three sets of three, basically leave out either D or C or B or A. And then, of course, having them all together. So we had four elements there, 16 total subsets if you tally them up. And in general, if you have k elements, you will have two to the k power subsets. So one element, two to the first subsets, two elements, two to the second subsets, two, uh, three elements, two to the third subsets, four elements, two to the fourth subsets, k elements, two to the k subsets. Uh, if we're talking proper subsets, we would just leave off the one copy that is equal to the original set. So 2 to the k minus 1 would be the number of proper subsets. So some problems to try out. I would recommend uh, from 2.2, .2, 1 to 38 all, and 39 to 59 on the odds. Uh, that's if you're uh, looking through the ebook or uh, have the physical textbook. Uh, if you're looking for my math lab, I'll see if I can uh, find uh, the sort of generic author's uh, version of the 2 2 problems as well. Uh, but these are the ones that I've uh, looked through and recommend trying out. Uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for the next video. Stay safe out there.